when we bring in a STL file or some other mesh file from the uh, insert mesh or however we get it into the file, we end up with this mesh body. If we expand the bodies folder, we see this mesh body. This is not a solid body. Um, it's not a, a fusion surface body. So the first thing we need to do is convert this to a solid body. I'm going to go to the mesh tab and uh, the uh, first thing I'm going to do is run a quality check on this body. Now, if you're using a personal license, you might not have all the options that I'm going to show, but it should still work on a simple body like this. But I'm going to click repair and I'm going to select this body and I'll, I'll say OK to that and to make sure that there weren't any errors in the body. Now, I didn't expect to find any in a simple body uh, like this. And uh, then I'm going to select this generate face groups. And I'm not sure if this step is existent in the uh, personal version, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this on accurate and I'll select that body and I'll say OK to that. And uh, so it, it turns these uh, or puts these faces in certain groups that are uh, designated as a color for that group. And I see that this right here is different uh, colors when we'd expect this to all be the same group. So I'm going to do combine faces and it asks me to select face groups. And uh, when I'm trying to select that, it's not allowing me to select that for some reason, uh, which it should. I would expect those to be uh, selectable. Well, it's not allowing me to, so I'm going to continue on. But normally I want to combine all these into the same uh, face group. Uh, then I'll go to the Modify tab, and I'm going to tell it to convert this mesh. And I don't think you have the parametric option if you're using the personal version. I think you have only the base feature. But I'm going to leave it on parametric, but for this, it shouldn't turn out any different. And then I'm going to do prismatic and I'll select that body and I'll say OK to that. And now that turns that into a, a solid body. Now I was being still a little bit concerned why this isn't one continuous face. Um, and it should have combined those faces and why this isn't one continuous face. But I am hesitant to use any imported geometry for anything other than reference in recreating from scratch. Uh, in this case now instead of a mesh body we see that we have a solid body over here and then we could do uh, various things with this solid body. For example, let's say that I wanted to cut this body uh, so I could uh, create a new sketch uh, somewhere on this uh, I, I put it on this face and I'm going to put a, a line over here and uh, then I'm going to split this body and so I'm going to do a uh, uh, modify I'm going to do split body I will uh, select the body to split and then I'll select the splitting tool this line and I'll say OK to that and now I have two two separate bodies so if I wanted to lengthen or shorten this I could do that so I'm going to do a move and I'm going to uh, select this body and I'm just going to move it along this direction if I want to lengthen it along this direction if I want to shorten it. If I want to shorten it, now I need to put in exact distances. I'm just doing this by eye. Uh, but um, I would uh, then do a combine of these two bodies once I've gotten it the length that I want. Let's go in reverse. I'm going to do that move and I'm going to move this along this axis and then I'm going to do an extrude. I'll select this face and I'm going to uh, take this space until it intersects with this space and I'll uh, uh, combine that. Now I did that, um, actually when I did the extrude it automatically combined it. Now I just did that by eye. I didn't measure any distances. You need to measure the distances that you want.